going to sanction me, so I'm not going to sanction you. Not. I'm going to refer you to the decision maker, and they'll make a decision on whether they're going to sanction you. I'm not actually making the decision. They're going to do that, and then if they do decide to sanction you, then you will take a 40% cut in your. I know what it is. I don't need you to explain it to me. Right, well, there isn't anything else anybody can do today. Well, so what I'm going to have to do is look. I think I'm. You're going to put me in I have to. I have to follow the rules. And the thing is, if you're going to if you're going to be aggressive with me, then I'm going to have to ask. It's not about me being aggressive. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm to you a situation, and you don't care. Security. Security. Okay, to the decision maker. It's all the same thing. Decide. I don't want to read your language because it's all the same thing. Um, Listen, I, I'm sorry, love, but you're going to have to. I don't, yeah, all right, thank I'm you. Take your hands off me. I'm going to speak to the manager. I don't want to speak to you. Sorry? I'm just explaining what's you happening here. To. No, no, but, but, come and talk to me then if you've got okay, something sorry. to say. All right. I've tried to explain to the woman. I've never been to Newcastle before. We've just moved up here from London. I've been here a few days. I don't know where I'm going, OK? I was on the bus. It's gone the wrong way. We've run, got off the bus, run, so there wasn't any more late. She just doesn't want to know. She doesn't want to know. And now what she's I telling want, me she's going to you for to a do, What I want you to do is listen to me, OK? The lady's told you what's right. There's rules here, rules that we have to stick to, OK? It isn't against you. Well, you oh, have mate, a duty. Listen, I'm not saying it's against you me. Have All a I'm duty saying is to be here on time. And I'm explaining to you why I wasn't here on time. Do you know what? I got lost. I understand, right? But what I gather now is the decision maker. The decision maker's going to be sending you a letter through the post. You're going to have to wait for that, and then you're going yeah, to. Yeah, nobody... my kids have got to start school tomorrow. I've right. got about twelve quid in my purse. Do you know what? All I... because. You can't just calm down and listen to people when they talk. Right. You all Again, have to do this. Do you know what? I've listened to you. You've created a scene. I think oh, you I've need... created a scene. No, I, mate, I'm creating If I was going to create a scene, you'd know about it. You need to leave me. the building. I'm sorry, you're okay, you need to... Yeah. This is to ridiculous. Need... Oh, Jesus what Christ! To do? Who's first in this queue? I am. Do you mind if this young lass signs on first? No, no, you carry on. There you go. Now you can go back to your desk and let her sign on and do the job that the taxpayer pays you for. This is a bloody disgrace. Listen, all right? This doesn't have to involve you. Everybody's trying to do their job here, and you're creating more of a scene again. But look, you're not listening to her. She's out of the area. She's just been here a few minutes. Can you not let her right. sign when she's got you, two kids? I'll for tell her, you what. Right. What's wrong with you right. people? Right. Listen, this isn't your concern. I want you to get out as well, all right? I need you to leave. We need to do this right, yeah? All right? Listen, listen, you know, listen. Just going to phone the police. Phone the police. Right. Can we get some perspective in here? It's ridiculous, man. Come on. Thanks very much. Come on, put a perspective, please, here, man. Oh, wait. Don't be shouldn't even be in the job. Come on. shouldn't even be in the job. Please, come on, get out. Ah, she needs help, man. Let's get going. Just sign on. Let's get going, all right? This is the claim and commitment form. You must commit yourself to spending 35 hours a week looking for work. Now, that can be newspapers, agencies, and online via the Universal Job Match. You just fill in the details. But you must prove that you've done this as well, mind. Well, I've been told by my doctor that I'm not supposed to go back to work yet. Then you should apply for employment and support allowance. I have. I've been knocked back by some quack, and now I'm trying to appeal. OK, well, that's your choice, Mr Blake. No, it's not my choice. I've got another form of income. Do you want to sign this or not? You just need to put your signature here. I shall date it later on. Thank you. Now, can I have a look at your CV? CV? You still don't get this, do you, Mr Blake? This is an agreement between you and the state. No, you still don't get it. No, I'm you must... Desperate. I'm desperate to go back to work, unless you... the doctor tells us. If you're desperate to get back to work, you need to have an up-to-date CV in order to help you look for work. Now, just hold it right there. There's a CV workshop that I would like you to attend, and it's this Saturday at nine o'clock. No, thanks. I'll sort that out on my own. No, Mr Blake, this is a formal direction. You will attend if you want to proceed with your job seeker's allowance claim. What happens if I don't? Then you will be referred for a sanction. That's not good enough, Mr Blake. And how do I know you've actually been in contact with all these employers? Well, I walked around the town, I gave out my CV by hand. Prove it. How? 
Well, did you get a receipt? Take a picture with your mobile? With this? I gave my word that's what I did. That's not good enough, Mr Blake. What about the universal job match online? I went to the library. This is my appointment card. I did my head in. And I tried my best. It's not good enough. Can I look at your CV? All right. Did you not learn anything at the CV workshop? Be surprised. Not good enough, Sheila. I'm afraid I'm going to have to refer you to a decision maker for a possible sanction for four weeks. Your payment will be frozen. You may be entitled to hardship allowance if you apply. Do you understand? And if you are sanctioned, you must continue to look for work and sign on. If you don't, you may be sanctioned again. And it's likely to be for 13 weeks on the second occasion and thereafter, and likely to be the maximum of up to three years. Would you like me to write you a referral to a food bank?